Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use slide zoom with 3D animated models to create a fun, interactive way to present your information. So let's jump into it. As usual, we'll go to File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. We'll quickly add the background and the text, so we'll right click, choose Format Background, go to Picture or Texture Fill, Insert Stock Images, and I'm going to type Sky. Insert this image, we'll quickly add the text, 3D Animated Model Zoom, make the text white, pop-ins, size 40, bold, drag this out and align it to the middle. Now let's add the models that we're going to zoom between. So the way to set this up generally is to create the things you want to zoom to on different slides. So we'll just right click here and add new slide. And on this slide, we're going to go to insert 3D models. And you can actually add any of your own models or any that you've downloaded for the internet by going to this device. You can see here all the different formats that are supported. Or you can go to 3D models, stock 3D models, and that uses the inbuilt PowerPoint ones. So if we go to animated models, I'm just going to pick up this hummingbird here first. It takes a few seconds to download it and add it in. And we can scale it up to whichever size we want. And when we go back to our first slide, now we can add the zoom. We'll go to insert and under this link section, you can see it says zoom. I'm going to select slide zoom. And then I'm going to choose the slide I want to zoom to, which is slide two. So I'm going to drag this over here and make it the size I want. If you enlarge it on the second slide, it will also show it bigger on the slide here because this is effectively just a link to the second slide. So now we just need to do a couple more things. Once we've selected this, we can go to zoom and there are some options. So I want to select return to zoom. And what that will do is that when we click on slide two, it will come back to slide one. So it'll effectively zoom into the object. And when you click again, it will zoom back to slide one, which creates a smooth transition. And then the one other thing we need to do is go across to this section, which hides the background. Perfect. So we'll just play that. So now when you click on the hummingbird, it will zoom into it, animate it. When you click, it will return back. So let's just add the others in as a reminder of how to do this. So we'll right click, choose new slide, insert 3D models, stock 3D models. I'm going to go to all animated models and add this scary looking wasp. Then we can go back to our slide zoom, insert, zoom, slide zoom, and just pick slide three. Again, the two settings that we need to change, return to zoom and zoom background. And now when you run this, whichever one you click on, it will zoom into that, animate it. And when you click, it will zoom back. And you can use this with any slides, but here is a fun example where you can use it with 3D models. We'll just quickly add the other two that I had in the first example. New slide, insert 3D model, stock 3D models. Go back to our first slide, insert, zoom, slide zoom, and just select the slide we want and press insert. Then just drag it wherever we want it to go and make sure the two settings, return to zoom and zoom background are selected. Finally, we'll add the balloons. Go back to our first slide. Insert, zoom, slide zoom. Pick the slide, put it anywhere we wish. We can scale this up if we want to, just by holding the corner handles. Go back to our first slide. We just need to remember to do the two settings under zoom, return to zoom, 
and zoom background to turn the background off. Now when we play this, you can click on any element we've added, such as these balloons, zoom straight into them, they'll animate and you can click to zoom back. So there we go. Remember that we can use slide zoom for any slides we wish and it's good to know that you can turn off the background in it and even use animated 3D models. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one.